What's up guys, it's me the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week 10, the penultimate week of the Pokemon Premier League. The season, the season has not been good, but we can end it on a high note with two consecutive wins. Something I haven't managed yet, because I've only managed two wins all season. Ugh. It's been so frustrating, because there have been games which I could have won, games which I should have won. Uh, it's just frustration. But today we're against Jedi Cardet and the Miami Rotom Heat, standing in for Ethan. Um, and I've been very confident about this match uh, since the start of the season. Basically because at the start of the season, <laughs> this team had five fighting types. And by now, if you don't know that my Mega is Mega Alakazam, Mega Alakazam was licking his lips, licking his spoons, licking everything. Um, he only has three fighting types now, but still, three out of ten Pokemon fighting types. He's not going to drop all of them, because that means he would not be bringing Keldeo, Polyrath, or Megalopunny. Which, by the way, Cresselia shuts all of them down. Um, so, it's going to be a good game, but I am quietly confident. Now, Jedi is already 50 minutes late. Um, but... He said he's added me. He hasn't. He's added my wrong code. Or he has my fri uh, friend code from my old 3DS. Um, I better give him my new friend code, to be honest. I'm going to have to look this up so I actually know it. But, um, while we wait around, obviously this is the penultimate game. Next week is going to be the last week of this season. If you guys... Well, it hasn't been fully thought out yet, but... My intention was, when I set out to do this, um, we're going to open a second division next season. And we're going to operate a promotion and a relegation system, like in football in real life, where if you come bottom and second from bottom, you go down league. If you come first and second in the bottom league, you go up to the top league. So, um, if there's some of you guys that are interested, of course, let me know. We will need to start compiling a list. I mean, we have a list of some people, but obviously if you are interested, um, leave your names in the comments to say you're interested if you are. Um, where am I looking? I need to find my friend code. Team listings, that's what I want. Um, I better give my friend code. It's 4098-5166-1287. There you go. I have three 3DSs. Jedi, come on should know this by now. <laughs> so, while we wait for Jedi to uh, get online, I'm going to uh, go over the team quick. And yes, I've checked the items are correct. It's fine. Um, no more Flame Orb Crest, which... Oh, God. I had flipping leftovers Crest. Last week would have been so much different. Um, anyway, physically defensive Crest. This thing completely shuts down low punny. I think Return from Adamant does about 35 maximum. Free Thunder Wave or Psy Shock anyone. Uh, Moonlight, you know, it's a free hit KO. No, I don't even think it's a free hit KO after leftovers. I think a Jolly has got 98% chance to full hit KO. It's something stupid. Um, so Cresselia is going to be really, really important to me this game. Next up, we have Spoonmon. Now, this is the first week where I've been forced to run Timid. Mainly because... Um, Mainly because I can't even think. Oh, low punny, low punny um, outspeeds or will outspeed me if I run modest and he's jolly max speed. Um, because it's base one three five. I think it. I hit two fourteen. It hit no. It hits two oh seven. I hit two oh four as modest or something. Team and I hit two hundred twenty seven. But obviously I only need. To, oh no, it hits two hundred five. That's it. And I hit two hundred two or something. Um, but obviously I can speed creep it. I don't actually have to put too much... I think I'm 140 EVs in speed. The rest is in HP, so I've got a little tiny bit more bulk. Um, this thing, Psychic and Hidden Power Fire, it's all I need really to take on this team. Um, I haven't done calcs against the Gligar, which could be interesting. But if he's physically defensive Gligar, I don't think it'll be appreciating a Psychic. Um, but I have Ice Beam on Crest. I didn't go over the moveset, I've just realised. Psy Shock, Ice Beam, Moonlight, Thunder Wave. Does get stopped by Fortress. But, um, 
If it wants to bring a fortress on it, that's fine by me. Honestly, it can't do much. It can toxic if that's what it wants to try. Um, but I have things. Next up is Chandelure. This is my spin blocker slash hard hitter. This thing is scarfed. Obviously, it's going to outspeed low punny apart from fake out and quick attack if he runs it. Um, with flash fire, because he has got talon flame, but honestly, uh, I'm not weak to fire at all. So, if he brings talon flame, the only thing I need to be aware of is Brave Bird for, um, for Alakazam. Um, so this thing is here just a trick, uh, if I feel like I need to do it, and um, hit hard, basically. With Hidden Power, Ice, Shadow Ball, and Flamethrower trick can be really nice on the Gligar, um, if I can pull that off, but I don't really want to give him a choice Scarf Gligar, I guess, maybe? I could just fire off two ice, Hidden Power Ices if he switches and stuff. Next is um, Caracosta. Uh, this is basically my Town Flame counter, unless he has Natural Gift with the Grass attacking Berry. But Stealth Rocks, um, this is my Rock Setter. Protect to stop the Megalope Honey from like High Jump kicking my face. Zen Headbutt for Keldeo and School, just to burn and Town Flame and general things. Zen Headbutt also hits. Um, also hits. Uh, Polyrath. Lapras, not so much, but honestly, I don't expect him to bring Lapras. I mean, I have Raikou. Um, next up is Raikou, max speed. Um, this thing outspeeds most of his team. It's also really nice for Rotom, because uh, it can just sort of take hits other than Overheat, of course. But then Overheat... Oh, that's another reason why I bought this thing. Okay, I remember now. But the Rotom Heat, I don't know if it... It, it could benefit him, especially with Caracosta and with Tokus around. Um, so, Raikou's going to be important. He has got Keldeo, um, which is not going to... I think it dies. I think it just straight up dies unless it's bulky to a Thunderbolt. So, I am Expert Belt. I can bluff the choice. I don't fancy being choice locked um, around that Gligar, so I've hidden power ice on this one too. Shadow Ball for Haunter, um, even though Thunderbolt I'm pretty sure might kill, but I think Thunderbolt might be a high roll, um, like a high chance, but Shadow Ball is a kill. And then I have the specially defensive uh, Tokus, which completely stops the Yan Mega um, and doesn't stop Haunter, but takes on Haunter okay. Um, which are the two things which problem Cress. Now, I might have gone over that. Um, why am I not seeing you, Jedi? I am not seeing you anywhere. You know what? Let me let me just hop on and offline because you are. Yeah, that's the correct one. That's the right one. I'm gonna hop on and off. Actually, I'm just gonna quickly do this. As I've logged off, let's go back to the home screen. Let's see if it comes up saying Jedi has added you. Because this is all sort. Yeah, there you go. Jedi has been added. Okay. So I reckon he would have been in the acquaintances. Right. Let's hop back into the game. Let's get straight into this. Um, if he doesn't have Talon Flame, I am leading off with the. Um, I can't even think what it's called. Leading off of Alakazam. If he does have Talon Flame, I'm thinking Cress. Um, he might even lead off with the Fortress, which could be a problem. Oh, we'll assess it when we um, get to it. Basically, I have Protect on Zam, which basically stops his low punny. Um, being able to do fake out shenanigans because fake out is 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 a is a, like one of his only ways of stopping uh, Zam along with um, along with Town Flame if he brings it, which I honestly think he'd be pretty silly if he didn't. So we're getting into this. Oh god! All right, can't get nervous, can't get distracted, can't stick. Oh, I can't go away from the game plan. Um, let's go music number seven. I think that's the primal battle music. We'll go with that one. Right, good luck, have fun, Jedi. But honestly, I want to guess. I want to get a huge, huge win. Please say, like, there's no Jenning errors. Thank you. Right. Town Flame, Rotom, Lopunny, Fortress, Keldeo, Gligar. Pretty much what I would have expected. Um, he does have. Right, he could have Trick if he leads off with. Honestly, I could just lead off with uh, Lumiere and. Lumiere? Lumiere. Um. Caracosta, maybe, have got the Protect. Hmm. Uh, actually, there's no reason for me not to lead off with Raikou, and if he does lead off with Lopunny, I will hard switch into... Um, 
Cresselia. So, we'll see how this goes. Raikou seems like a solid lead, especially if he wants to do the Gligar, Hidden Power, Ice Wolf, definitely, probably to get KO. <sighs> okay, Jedi, good luck, have fun. The nerves, keep them to one side. I want to get this battle over done. I don't want it to be long. I have to clean the house. My parents are here in two hours, and it's a mess at the moment. <laughs> I have to go shopping as well for food. Um, so we lead off with Raikou here. He leads off with Blackie Chan, which is the low punny. Okay. So, I mean, I could stay in and take the fake out, but I don't really want to do that. So let's just go straight into Cress. I was going to lead with Cress. Um... I mean, Crest would have been, probably been the best lead. I just realized he didn't bring Yan Mega or Haunter, which means he is going to have such a horrible time with Cresselia. Such a horrible time, unless he's got, like, a massive, massive surprise here. So, I obviously do take the fake out easy. Uh, look at that. Cresselia is absolutely disgusting. That's stab. Um, so, I'm going to go for the fun wave. Free Thunder Wave is nice. If he wants to sub, that's fine, because I have got Psy Shock. And... This thing isn't going to want to take a Psychic type attack, so if I was going to be a betting man, I'd say he'd go straight into Fortress right now. So, after that, yep, he goes straight into Fortress. I wish I had Hidden Power Fire. Right, the Thunder Wave is nice. We could get some nice paralysis. He's going to go into... Oh, he's probably going to go for some rocks here. Uh, actually, Gyro Ball is now going to hurt, which is a problem. If he has Gyro Ball, that is, anyway. I'm going to go straight into... What do I want to go into here? What do I want to go into? <sighs> Let's go into Lumiere and scare him out. Plus, we can dodge the rock's damage. Look at that, 25 straight wins in the Battle Maison. Nice and spoilers for Hackmon Maison right there. <laughs> um, he's thinking about it. He could Volt Switch if he was a man. Or, you know, there could be a Paralysis if it wants to be great. Pin Missile. That is interesting. He's bought that for the Alakazam. And of course he gets all five hits. We'll say I meant that. We'll say I predicted this. So I wonder if he's... Oh, I don't know. Do I trick? Am I real? Or do I Shadow Ball? Shadow Ball will be a solid 2 hit KO, I'm sure. I'm expecting him to want to go into Keldeo. So let's go for the Shadow Ball. Because honestly, if he wants to go into... Low punny here. Spirit of E. Oh, he goes into this. That's not taking two. Oh, that's that's bulky Rotom, okay. That is bulky Rotom if I've ever seen one. Okay, I need to get my rocks up. I need my rocks. What's he gonna do? Volt switch, Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure I can take one because he's bulky, so I'm gonna Shadow Ball again. So he stays in. Shadow he Shadow Balls himself. Oh god, I didn't... Oh, why did I not think of Shadow Ball? I can take that. Oh, Lumiere. You absolute beast. So he might switch into Low Punny here, if he's clever. But I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. There's no reason for me not to. He can switch into Low Punny, but I will switch into Cress. Yeah, there's Blackie Chan. So that Rotom's dead on switching, if I can get my rocks up safely. Um, and as long as he doesn't get his rocks up, I'm happy. So let's go into Crest. He will probably go for the fake out. Expect he could Does this thing get Pursuit? If this thing gets Pursuit, I'm going to be angry. But this thing has done some work. Okay, it's still there. I have got Defog, so I can, you know, still cause some havoc. He has to go for the fake out. Oh, Strength. What? Okay. He didn't fancy the return power. Strength? Really? Strength? So this time, I'm gonna go. Into, I'm gonna go for an ice beam. See if he wants to go into that Gligar of his. And if he wants to go into Fortress, I can break the sub. P 
pin missile is really interesting. Really interesting. But hey, um, so he just completely walls that. Go on, go into Gligar, you know you want to. Kind of now, I now have a free switch into a uh, Caracosta. Free switch into Caracosta. Well, I need a free switch into Caracosta. Get rocks up. Let's fill off that room. He's really thinking about this. He withdraws. Is he going to go into Gligar? Please go into Gligar. He'll probably go into Spirit of E. That's Rotom, isn't it? Oh, I'll live this Ice Beam. Cresselia does naturally outspeed, though. I'm pretty sure of that. Oh, no, wait. His leftovers went first. Okay, his leftovers went first. What's my switch here? What is my switch? Because he's going to probably go for the burn. I might go into Lumiere and just start firing off Fire Blast. Or Flamethrowers, rather. It's the most expendable member, that's for sure. Go for that Will-O-Wisp. Yes! The predictions. Now I'm Scarf Flamethrower with Flash Fire. And I'm sorry, you are not going to appreciate this. Let's go for the Flame. I could trick. No, I don't want to. I'm just going to hit Flamethrower. It's going to hit lots of things, apart from Keldeo. But he's in a bad position now. The, the prediction was real, and he's scared. He is scared. Honestly, he might be able to switch into Talonflame. Now, do you want to keep Lumiere around? Because he hasn't got rocks up. Unless he's got Sucker Punch, Rotom Heat, then I will have to clap. I will have to clap. I'm basically at 1.5 now. <laughs> I'm nearly. I'm hitting 300 special attack, nearly. So Rotom Heat dies, which is cool. So he can bring in Blackie Chan again, if he so wishes. That's one down. That's Rotom Heat gone. Special wall, I guess. Which means Raikou can now run Riot. You hoof now. Okay. I'm going to stay in and Flamethrower just in case he wants to try and sub. He could go for the Calm Mind even. See how much this does. That's solid damage. Sub. He does sub. Okay. He sub Calm Mind. Which is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. But I can actually break his sub with another Flamethrower. So I'm going to do that. He has to attack me. He has to attack. Which gives me a free switch into Raikou. The Hydro Pump hits, that's fine. Chandelure have done a great job this game. It has to be said, it has to be said. Right, let's go into... I don't know if my speed investment outspeeds Keldeo now I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to go into Serenity here. And... Do I click Hidden Power Ice? Do I do it? Am I man enough? Don't know if Secret Sword will kill me or not. I'm gonna click Bolt Switch just in case he switches into something that isn't Gligar. Damn ground type. <laughs> you can swap out into Fortress or something, that'd be helpful. I still got Hidden Power Fire and I still have got Flamethrower. So losing Chandler wasn't too bad. But it took out Rotom Heat and it done a lot of damage to Hugh Hoofner. 
There's no way, absolutely no way I was switching out with Chandelure. Not a chance. Because I know, I know every time he's so far, he has run Subcar Mine. You don't outspeed me. And I'm hoping he expects me to go for the Hidden Power Ice. And then, if I can kill this thing off... I know, because I've gone for Bolt Switch, haven't I? So... He might try and set up rocks as well with Flyga. Gives me a free. Like, he switches. Does he go? If he goes into Gligar, I need to start making plays. Rigby, that's Gligar. I reckon I could take an earthquake from this thing, unless it's scarfed. Hidden Power Ice. Let's go. Nice and crit, maybe. I don't think this will kill. It might kill physically defensive. I'm not sure about specially defensive. He might also think I'm choice, so he might. I'm pretty sure I'll go for the rocks here. He could even knock off. If he knocks off, that's not the end of the world. Probably, I'll still kill Keldeo. Hidden power ice come through. That does so much damage. He goes for Stone Edge and he hits. Okay. That does not do much. Oh, that's a crit. Wow, okay. I'm going to go for another hidden power ice. There's no reason not to. He has not got a switch for Hidden Power Ice, other than, uh, Low Punny. So I wonder if he was- alright, he lets his thing die, which is great. I'm hoping that means no rocks. I wish I was real enough to click Hidden Power the first time. I really, really wish I was. He goes into Let's Go Bowling. Right, I'm gonna Bolt Switch. Break this guy's sturdy. That, that, oh, that was a crit. <laughs> nice and revenge crit. So has this got Earthquake? Do I set up my own rocks? No. I need to keep... Uh, do I? No, this is a spinner. If he goes to the Gyro Ball, Earthquake plays. The plays are real right now. Flamethrower? I think Air Slash might even kill from this range. So I'm going to click it. The beauty about preparing for Jedi's team is, you know he has to bring Fortress. Because that and uh, Gligar is only spinners. With draws, you might go into Talonflame, expecting the fire move. Hugh Hoof, no, that's dying. As long as it hits. Yes, okay, it hits. Hugh Hoofner dies. Sweet. Okay, he's down to three Mon. We're in a really good position. Do not choke. Jack, do not choke. He's got, yeah, he's got this thing left. He has got a half weak paralyzed Fortress and a Talon Flame. So let's go into Cresselia. Nice and free switch. He doesn't switch himself, which is good. Fake out. It's obvious. So obvious it hurt. This thing can't touch me, but honestly, there's no reason for me not to stay in. So let's go for a Psyshock. And hope. I'll claim that Air Slash was a prediction, but I'm pretty confident Air Slash would have killed from there. Right, he goes into Fortress, so he might be trying to get his rocks up one more time. Or he might be going for the Pin Missile, actually. So I'm going to use this chance to get my rocks up. Or do I? Do I, do I, do I? Now let's go into the Angel of Hacks. The Angel of Hacks has got this. Stops his fortress and less gyro ball, then gyro ball, and then congratulations. That's fair play, has to be said. There's the gyro ball. I'm a dead, I'm a dead toke kiss, has to be said. Straight up dead. That's okay though, free switch into Alakazam.
Honestly, I'm quite glad about that because um, it was the most expendable thing on my team right now. He stays in, so he's dying to a hidden power fire. If I trace a sturdy off this thing, I do. Oh, that could be interesting. Hidden power fire. This thing goes down. Bring in Talonflame, I dare you. I'll, I'll live with Sturdy. That's a... I didn't even consider that as an option. I was considering a... Um... I can't even think now. I was considering... God, what? I can't even think! I was considering... No, I can't think. Actually, this is not over yet. Like, well, Cresselia can stall him out. He really can. Fake out is so obvious. Crest can win this for me single handedly. Has to. Right, let's go for the Thunder Wave. There's no reason. He's only got two Pokemon left. Ice Punch. He's going for the Freeze Hacks. You are kidding me! You have got to be kidding me right now. If he goes into... If he's got Swords Dance on Talonflame... You are kidding me. You are actually kidding me. I'm gonna stay in. See what he does. Sub. Oh god. Sub sword dance. I swear, if he has natural gift, he doesn't have natural gift because he's leftovers. I cannot believe. I cannot believe he got that. All I need to do is kill off this bird. You do that. This is going to do absolutely nothing. That did nothing. That did literally nothing. Alright, how much is this school going to do? <sighs> Freeze made things so much harder. Let's go for the school. Please get the burn. I deserve it. I deserve the burn. I really do. Thank you. I deserve that. I flipping deserve that. <laughs> right, I'm going to protect this turn because I'm going to get myself back to sturdy, even though I don't need it. And you might even high jump kick here, so I'm just going to click protect. Because I need this thing. High jump kick. Perfect. You die. You die to burn this turn. Caracosta is doing wonders right now. God, that freeze was so goddamn... God damn, that thing was annoying. The burn mattered, though. The burn did matter, otherwise it would have made it slightly longer. Right then, let's scald. All he can do is Brave Bird, unless he has the Solar Beam. But he doesn't. That was one thing I was considering. He's gone for the Brave Bird. That's the game. He knows it. He can't do anything to this Caracosta. I haven't got a Rock Attack, so I can't hit it with that. All I have is Scald. I have Zen Headbutt. <laughs> um, let's just Scald this thing to death. Flippin' X, Smogan Bird. You just die. So, guys, we have won! The confidence was real. And, ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, God. We are up to nine points. Titos. Actually, I can't say. Um, it was a really good game, Jedi. Thank you for that. That pin missile. 
Why? Why? And no one in their right mind would expect that. Was that? Was that offensive fortress? Was that an offensive fortress? I'm not sure. But the game is over. That's a third win. We're getting the end of our season off to a good start. <laughs> um, so I was really, I'm really glad that that paid off. Karakos getting two kills on its debut. That's more than Salamence ever got. That face when you realise. That face when you realise. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this battle, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Remember, leave me your names uh, if you're interested, maybe, so I can add you to the list. Um, I'm just going to say now, the requirements will be 3DS, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, um, and that I'm going to say um, it's better if you have a capture card, because um, we will be asking people with capture cards to help out people who don't. And Poke Genning also helps, because at the moment there's only me and Slyro and Richie who can gen, um, and that's quite a lot for 12 people, so yeah. Um, anyway, I've rambled on. Um, thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. We've got a third win of the season. We are stopping the rot. We are coming for you, Sly. We will end the season on a high, and I will not finish bottom. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.